Like a muscle car. Oh, there's Sophie. Sophie! She's a creator of that beast. So talking about that one is a Mazda Miata. All these creations, the, the, the body kit, the wheels. We're waiting for the wheel spanders that she's coming in this uh, today or tomorrow. She's done everything on this car. Look at the, uh, look at the, uh, the seats. Seats, the steering wheel. She's built everything. Look at the tail. When we bought it, it was perfectly kept. Mm. One thing guys, when you create project cars, either you get a nice car that is being well kept, right? To the most original and then you custom or you get something that has been destroyed and it's gonna cost you, believe it or not, a lot of money. Let's talk about money. This car was $11,000 when we bought it, right? We bought it out. We had another one that she had bought with her budget for $3,000 cash. The car needed it about $10,000 in paint, anti-rust mm -hmm. and protection of the interiors. So we sold it and we bought this one. The difference of money that you save at the beginning, you were gonna have to pay it over time. And now she has a car that is impeccable and she custom made it. Yeah, that's a real cool wheel. Next it, to the GTR. And then this is <laughs> this is a very special GTR because this car it's limited 45 edition. Mm -hmm. So this is the gold GTR. Ooh. It's been wrapped. Well you don't know it, that this car is actually gold. That's the original color. Oh I see it's a it's a white it's wrapped. White wrap on it. This one used to be we had three GTRs. I had one, Raul had one, and Christian had one, right? Christian actually blew up the engine. Oh, this car, no. It ran out of oil. You know, <laughs> this car swallow oil, right? I gave him mine, and I took his. I busted up. <laughs> I put it to almost a thousand horsepower. That was a beast. <laughs> but unfortunately, the engine only lasted two days. Mm -hmm. So we had to buy the whole bottom block. The mm -hmm. upper block came good. And uh, it, the car actually landed it to be about 900 horsepower. Big. Premium, guys. Another 60, 70, 80 with the E85, right? Guess what? My son Raul loved it and he took it away. And he traded it for the one he had. Mm -hmm. The Limited 45. This car was fairly much stock, except that it has special racing clutch. It had been dropped. And I said, sure. You know what? I'm, I'm a car investor, collector. And I think that over time, this is the one that is going to have the most value. Mm -hmm. So we swap cars. Then he got rid of the car. He got another car, etc. So we kept this one and I lost it to my daughter. Full GTR, it has full bolt tons, full conversion kit. Uh, it, it, it's E85. I mean, let's open the trunk so you can see. This car is so unique. It has racing seats mm -hmm. with a full um, uh, strapping and everything else. Inside, you can see also the steering wheel has been modified uh, with a big panel, everything, all carbon everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful car. It has premium uh, uh, upgraded sound system. The lights on the top yeah, as well. the it has a starting lights on the top. Oh, like the Rolls Royce. Oh, like yeah. the Rolls Royce. Oh, yeah, okay. this one has, like, so the nice and to change the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the engine days. <laughs> the car and she drives very well. <laughs> nice. Well, like, she's getting the jeans, you know what I mean? Well, it looks like a regular GTR with the Alpha package on it. Mm -hmm. So when you translate this much power to the wheels, you need to know how to respect the steering. Mm -hmm. That's the key people don't understand. I see a lot of accidents occurring because people come out of a car meet with cold tires, cold brakes, 700, 900,000 horsepower, what do they do? Mm -hmm. You always see it spinning and crashing against the first spawn uh, tree in the middle. Mm -hmm. Respect the power, learn how to manage the power. This car has beautiful blow up valves. So you're looking at a very unique piece of, 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 of automobile mm -hmm. and this is a limited edition. So this car is, is, is an eternity. I mean, we added the um, the splitters. We added yeah, the yeah. whole canard systems. GT five hundred. I know about GT that 500, one. GT five hundred. Seven hundred and fifty horsepower. Mm -hmm. Seven gears. Aluminum block. Dual clutch. Mm -hmm. Beast. A carbon fiber package for racing. Okay. I just didn't get the racing seats. There's oh, a really? need for that. Mm -hmm. That's why we had a real race car. This one is my project car. It took pride. It's nineteen sixty eight. My year of birth. It's a, it's a Mustang GT from the time. It's a three point two. Modified racing block, mm -hmm. and uh, we added a lot of things to the car. Like little things you can see, you can see from the side. The whole interior of the car, you can record it from here. Yeah, I'll just do it like this. It's racing seat, the center console. It has the upgraded premium sound system. Um, it's full air conditioning. V8. Well, this car could go up to maybe eighty, ninety thousand dollars right now. Always remember that there's a timing for everything. And back in 1989, I wanted a Mustang GT, mm -hmm. but I could only afford a normal car. Mm -hmm. So I got 
a Chevrolet. I had a Chevrolet lasted me throughout college until I was able to afford my mm -hmm. first 280C, then I got a 300CX, then I got a 3000 GT. So I was able to upscale. You go by scaling up mm -hmm. rather than pushing yourself to a limit that you cannot afford. That was a memory that after I was able to accomplish my goals and everything else, I came back to give my trophy. See, 1997 Mustang GT, mm -hmm. modified racing tr uh, track car. Nice, but nice. But again, I mean, you're looking at a car that is beautiful, mm -hmm. but it's half the power of this one. I mean, more like a quarter mile car. It's, it's, it's ready and it's turbocharged. You can pick a, a, an old one like this one, maybe like 15, 20K. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've, I've done enough for 25K, 30K. I'm like, yeah, maybe the car is worth it less. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's worth it more. This one has racing wheels, racing brakes, racing tires. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a racing engine with a with a, with a, with a turbo. But always be patient. Value is not in the car, but to be able to enjoy the noise, the sound. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just the smell of the high power combustion of the, you know, of the, of the, of the engines. And sometimes, it is not your time to have a car. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this is a beautiful... It's a beautiful community. It's a beautiful residential investment. A rush to become a successful, but like, what would you do to like speed up the process of like become successful and like getting things rolling? I would actually, if I were to start from the beginning, again, I would sleep less and I would work a little smarter by making sure that my solid job is done more efficiently. Mm -hmm. I would actually assure that if I have a delivery pattern, I would try to make that delivery pattern more predictable and more efficient, meaning faster delivery, not rushing, mm -hmm. faster delivery. So you actually eliminate sources of distraction from your road delivery. Then your YouTube channel, I will actually make sure that I'm not only showing the delivery of my product, but I'm also displaying it for sale. So you're gonna have to invest some money into portraying yourself and tagging the right people, the right areas, so that people will see what you do. And I will actually market Mm -hmm. myself as a YouTuber videographer, car enthusiast, and I start talking about what you do, not just the photo, the video. Because when you talk about the car, you, everybody talks about the statistics, right? But few people talk about the experience. You have the ability to actually enjoy experiences, and maybe we can do a joint collaboration, which is what we're gonna put you to do. That's one of the surprises. We're gonna, we're gonna have a, a hard part time for you to do a full documentary on everything that we have on the cars so you can use it for your social media build your platform mm -hmm. and you're gonna work so that we can actually make our videos through you building a new clientele it's gonna work out to your advantage uh, you'll be able to work with my videography team we're gonna be able to record photo videos and everything else on our out and abouts mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to also work along with Raul and be able to see what we do how we do it how are they doing and you're gonna begin to engage yourself in the ability to learn by listening and then go back and to learn by looking at the courses and get a new skill oh, wow. support your trading mm. knowledge with your investments into your videography we'll actually be able to work with you and then for you to co-develop the company and that's how companies start two real equal mindsets that are pushing together mm. or you'll be the employer the employee that you need to have financial support <laughs>